my channel. My name is Ender and this is my VR Arcade. So here I'll be reviewing a lot of VR accessories, games, and headsets if there's enough positive reactions to what I'm presenting today. And today I'm presenting something pretty unique, a solution to a problem for some VR shooter enthusiasts. For those of you like myself who enjoy a VR shooter game and love the immersion and accuracy of using a gun stock, well, sometimes there's a problem. When you want to go to use a pump action shotgun, you can't actually simulate or affect that pump action when you're playing the game, right? You've got to take your front controller off the stock and mimic that reload action off the stock, which kind of kills the whole purpose. So that's where I have this very exciting accessory today. I was chatting with another person on the Discord uh, for ProTube and uh, he showed off this really neat accessory where he could do just that. He could keep his controller on his stock and simulate a pump action at the same time. Something that I've heard other people discuss, wish was available, and why hasn't anyone invented it yet? So when I saw Urban Ghost 3's post about one he created, I reached out to him and said, hey, would you be willing to manufacture something like that? So I'm his first customer and I have the first consumer edition of the Action Pump VR, which I will now show to you. So here I have a, well, I guess you could call it a Force Tube by ProTube. And what I have here at the front attachment is what is going to be the Action Pump VR. And quite simply, what it allows you to do is relocate your front magnetic accessory uh, onto the top of this device here. You can see the single piece here with this mounting point is what's included. And what it allows you to do is uh, lock that front controller on there to that magnetic grip and use it as you normally would with the rifle or using the latch, which you can do, and I'm left-handed, which you can do uh, with the flick of a switch while you're playing the game without having to look down. And there is your reload function. So pretty straightforward on how that works. It'll even stay pretty well without having to lock it in if you forget to do that. But tap it a little too hard as I did there, you can see it will slide. I'll show you a little bit more about how it's designed and actuates. So you can see here that, again, there's an adjustment point where I can tilt this up or down. Uh, I can also mount this further forwards or backwards using these various holes and these two bolts here. Uh, I can also, with this particular force tube, uh, adjust and slide uh, with this wing nut here and tighten and loosen and adjust this forward and backwards. Since I'm just doing this like a casual reviewer and I've got this all dialed in the way I want. Some of you know, you don't want to readjust that a whole lot. It's not a lot of fun once you get it dialed in. Uh, so that's pretty much how that works. I'll show you with the controller attached how that would work. All right, so here you can see this is going to be my right hand controller grip. I'll use the uh, Pro 2 Pro Grip, and you can see I've got the magnetic attachment there, so pretty much as you would imagine. Locks into place, reload, reload, pretty straightforward. And then when I want to use an M4, my typical weapon, it's locked in place. There's a slight click. I don't know if that would bother anyone. I really don't hear it. You really got to be pulling on it pretty hard to hear it. And uh, that's pretty much how that works. Uh, I'll do kind of a close up here. And you can see again, that just uh, reloads pretty easily as you normally want to. What it also has, if you look inside here, is a metal slider bar. So that makes for really smooth action forward and backwards. Uh, durability isn't much of a concern as well because of that. He doesn't have a website yet. If you're interested in reaching out to him on Discord, you're gonna look for Urban Ghost 3 and uh, see if he's interested in producing more of these, depending on feedback. Uh, let him or myself know. You can also reach me on Discord. Uh, 1399, I believe, is my Discord number or uh, pound sign. Uh, feel free to comment in the bottom, but uh, I may not get back to it for a while. Best way to reach me if you have a question about this is on Discord. Or if you're interested in any of the other VR accessories I have uh, that I will maybe put a quick preview up here. Let me know of your interest and if you'd like to see me review those as well. Thanks for your time.